Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today I'm going to show you something a little bit different. It's the brand new kayak trailer that I built from scratch. It's already loaded up with the Big Water 132. Excited to get it on the water. Let's take a look. All right guys, as I mentioned, I built this thing from scratch. This is the Harbor Freight 40 by 48 size small utility trailer. Very simple to put together, just did a couple of modifications, so let's, uh, let's take a look at that today. Pretty cool, I'm excited. What's really cool about this kayak trailer and towing a kayak is it's light. I'm actually hooked up to the Subaru Crosstrek, which has got about a 1,500 pound towing capacity, but with everything that's on here now, you're only looking at about 250, 300 pounds, very simple. As I mentioned, this was the Harbor Freight 40 by 48 kayak trailer. I did a couple modifications like extending the tongue. I put a 10-foot uh, steel tubing on there to extend it out so it's got some room between the kayak and the car. As you can see, there's plenty of distance there. And uh, I added some uh, PVC piping down to the bottom there. But very simple project. I'll take the kayak off here and we'll take a look component by component just to see what it looks like. But here's what it looks like on the kayak with all the cars going by. Hopefully I don't get hit. But a pretty little setup. I got it with just the straps. I don't use ratchet straps, but simple little setup. Let's take the kayak off and we'll take a look at those modifications directly. All right, now let's take a look at the unloaded trailer. Here's what it looks like. As I mentioned, this is the 40 by 48 Harbor Freight Freighter uh, trailer. You can get this guy for about $3.99 off the rack, or if you wait for any of the coupons, you can usually get that 25% off coupon, bringing it down to like $2.99. Really good deal. It works out really well. So we'll start down here at the cross track. Uh, one thing you have to do on the cross track is add a tow package. Tow package was very simple. I'll actually put that link in the description below. But kind of nice about the Subaru and most cars actually, I believe, is there is an there is a electric package that's already inside there. So it's already hooked up. There's really nothing you have to do other than get the wiring and actually just attach it. So very simple. Uh, the one thing I did do, which I mentioned, was extend that tongue. I went out and bought a 10 foot square tube steel tongue area. That's the two inch to extend this guy out. The regular one only stick out to about here which clearly was not going to be long enough for the kayak itself. Uh, another quick one that you can see here is I actually painted the whole thing black. But with that 10, see the 10 goes all the way from the car, and I actually went all the way through and all the way to the back of the trailer. Uh, a couple of the heavy-duty bolts, put it right on through there. Very simple, it's very sturdy. This guy's already been on the road several times, but uh, it works out well. It is pretty light, so you do get some bouncing with it. But the next real modification I did is I did add a couple of eye bolts here. That's just for the uh, straps that you're gonna use to hold it down. And then I added PVC pipes. This is the two inch schedule uh, 40 in black, just so it matched. Of course, you can use the white or any color that you want as well. Um, but these are uh, eight foot sections here. You know, the kayak itself is 13 and a half, but with that eight foot, you got about two feet on either side on the eight foot uh, sections so you'd have to use that red flag on the back you're supposed to use that when you're towing anyway especially in california but i've got a little bit further up front here than i do in the back and as you saw in the first video it came to just about here which left about two and a half feet almost three feet from the back of the car to where the nose of the kayak is i added this guy here so i can do a nose tie down if i like a uh, very simple uh, process there as well and it uh, it holds the kayak down nicely but as far as the PVC goes, just did the larger hole, actually bolted right on down. Could probably get the holes a little bit smoother, but I wasn't in a hurry or anything, just a little bit sloppy on those. Uh, the wiring kit, pretty simple. It all just ran right on through, uh, tie downs on the inside. I used some of the clips that it came with, but I tried to keep it as, as tight down the inside as possible so nothing's actually dragging. Um, very simple process, really. But it all works out. I think all together I'm into it for about 450 bucks. Really not too bad. That's with the paint. The steel itself was about $100. That's for that uh, square tubing there that went all the way to the end. I do just have to add on the uh, license plate, which I've already got it registered, so we're good to go there. It's got the permanent tag for California. 
but very simple you know these kayaks are heavy this particular that's the old town big water 132 it comes in at uh, about 100 pounds you put a couple of things on there and it gets pretty heavy but i was putting it up on top of the car just gets a little bit easier with the trailer the one thing i do notice using the trailers is you do get inspected more as i go to like lake paris or silverwood here in southern california when it's down low they do tend to want to look into it a little bit more then when it's on the car they'll usually just kind of glance up on it and wave you on through but that's it i haven't really done any modifications to the tires or the wheels they are a c load class that it actually came with i saw one of the complaints is a lot of people were talking about the tires and uh, not being a c load but these happen to be a c load that it came with so that was kind of nice uh, they are two ply i'm going to bump it up to probably uh, the eight ply that i found but nothing else real major that i had to do any modification changes here so if you're looking for an easy project this is the one to look at for your kayak uh, very simple to do just added those pvc the kayak slides right back on and uh, nice and easy let's uh, put it back on there and take a look so now that we talked about it, here's what the kayak again looks like on the trailer. As you can see, it centers up nice. That little uh, area down there, it actually is right up, straight up and down from the nose. So I can actually keep the nose pinned down to the, uh, to the trailer itself. Though I haven't had an issue, you never know. Here's a look underneath. You can see the bunk sit right nicely in the well. It rides in there very smoothly. It stays very straight. As we walk on our way to the back here, give it a shake. It's very sturdy. It's not even strapped down yet. And of course, adding that red flag to the back is key here to California. I'm sure it is everywhere else in the country as well, but very nicely built. I'm pretty excited about this project. As I mentioned, these things are getting heavy and the older I get, the heavier they get for sure. Was putting it on the roof, but now I can just pop it right on the trailer, head down to the water, do my launch and take off. Well, I hope you'd like the look at the trailer build. Like I mentioned, very simple. It's the Harbor Freight 40 by 48. I didn't go with the larger foldable size, just this guy. It weighs in at about 150 pounds out of the box. I added that steel to it, which is probably about 80 pounds. The regular tongue itself was pretty heavy. So altogether, it's probably in that 200 pound range. Not horrible. You can still lift it and tilt it or do whatever you want to do to it to get it out of the way. But nice little package. As I mentioned, it does get some bouncing. In California, you do have to tow at less than 55 miles an hour. So you're not going to get some super highway speeds, although I'm sure some people will. But cool little project. As I mentioned, I'm very excited about this thing. I've used it several times already. It's, uh, it's been a back saver for sure. Do me a favor though, if you like this video, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Davey's World Fishing up in that right hand corner. See you on the water.